What are the reasons a jinni would enter inside your body? What would cause that? Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah named three reasons. Number one, jinn are a creation like us who do have the freedom to choose. So they could commit sins and they could commit injustice just like that. Like human, you know, we, we, we wrong one another for no reason. So he said the first reason that jinni, the jinni would oppress the insi. He just doesn't like your, your, your face. He looks at you like, I don't like this guy. You don't see him. This jinni oppressed the insi. Now you're a Muslim, you should help your brother A to, to, to be freed from that. He mentioned the second reason, love. That the jinni actually may love you. Lishq, the last for love. And uh, I was sharing this with you last lecture, I think, you know, with that when you, uh, when you go through your bedroom and, and wearing nothing basically, and you're walking around like this, guess who's watching you? The jinni is watching you. Where the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us what to do when we take off our clothes. Bismillah. If you say Bismillah, a curtain between you and the jinni. But how many of us come out of bed in the morning and you want to get your coffee from the kitchen? Huh? I stopped doing that <laughs> after learning this. Guess what? The jinni is looking. Mm. And he's going to go inside that body because he loves you. Actually, a lot of the reasons, especially, no offense for the sisters, especially with the women, with the sisters. A lot of the sisters are possessed by jinn because of that reason, that the jinni actually likes the women. That's why the, the women also should be careful about the way that she dresses in, inside her bedroom and so forth. Number three, Dhakar Shaykh al-Islam, that you unintentionally inflicting harm upon the jinni, like pouring hot water in the ground and the happen a jinni is out there. You harm the jinni. Now vengeance now, he want to get at you. Now what can save you also from this saying Bismillah? Anything that you do say Bismillah, you're safe from that. Can the jinni enter the body of the human just like that anytime? Anytime? The answer is no. Uh, I'm talking about the position. They mentioned three, con four conditions. There are four conditions. The jinni would enter into the body of the human to possess it. Number one, the extreme anger. When you become so angry, jinn actually goes inside you at this, at this stage. What did the Prophet Sallallahu say to us when we get upset, angry, when we get mad? If you're sitting down, stand up. If you're standing up, sit down. Why? You want to upset the position of the jinni inside you. You don't want to make him comfy. Because as long as you're in your position and you're upset, he's the one who's now directing that body. The second case here is ext uh, extreme or excessive fear. Excessive fear, the state of excessive fear. You're vulnerable during these conditions. So excessive anger or excessive fear that you're so fearful, you're afraid. Jinn can actually go inside you at this stage. Number four, excessive heedlessness. That you're not paying attention to, you're, you, you know, you're, you don't say the adhkar, you enter into the bathroom, you, you're not paying attention, that you're not saying the adhkar. You know, like when you eat, you're not saying Bismillah. When you enter the house, you don't say Bismillah and so forth. Case number four, the time when you're so much into your desire. I read something like a beautiful uh, scenario. You know, when you watching a scene, let's say porno, porno, pornographic, something like that, pornographic, that's what came, and you're focused with it. You're so much into the scene. That is when jinn actually can enter into your body. You're very vulnerable at this stage. When you're so much into that unlawful behavior, jinn can penetrate your body at this stage. And, and that is why uh, even with your uh, married spouse, we're supposed to do what? Bismillah, Allahumma jannibni shaytan. Even with the lawful one, you're supposed to make a dua that Allah would protect you from what? Shaytan at this stage.